Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. And today we're going to be going over the game Albion Online. We're going to be looking at the top 5 most helpful tips for beginners. Number 1. Always maintain premium. This is the fastest way of leveling and quickest way of earning silver and fame. Make sure you have a focus on maintaining your premium status whether you earn it in game or by paying with real money. Although this game is free to play, you have the same access to everything in game as premium members. Premium will keep you progressing much faster. Make sure you complete the tutorial when you create your first character as this will give you a free 3 day premium. Number 2. Save your LP. You receive 20 learning points per day with premium. You should be saving these learning points up as they will help you level skills much faster later on. Now let's take a look at the destiny board. We can see how close I am to leveling up some certain skills. Learning points will allow you to skip a lot of that XP grind by using them to finish your level in that skill. You will be very thankful if you have a lot of learning points later on to spend as it becomes harder and harder to level up your skills. Number 3. Focus. Premium provides you with 10,000 focus points a day, which allows you to craft, refine, or farm at a much lower rate. You can now have 30,000 focus points. That means you max out at 30,000 focus points. So you should always be spending your focus points and make sure you never sit at 30,000 to maintain a fast way of progressing. Number four, buying an island. Your island can be very useful. Make sure to use your island for farming, raising mounts, and anything else you might want to do. However, know that after you buy an island, it may not be moved from the city you bought it from without removing everything you built on it. I would suggest waiting to buy your island until you reach a main city like Carleon. Number 5. Learning the Zones Let's take a look at the map. What does each zone mean? There are yellow, red, and black zones. In yellow zones, you can be PK'd. However, all you lose is time. If you die in the yellow zones, you won't lose any loot. Your loot will now just need to be repaired, which won't cost much. Depending on what quality of gear you are wearing, your cost will go up. In red zones, you can be PK'd by hostiles. The number of hostiles are shown in the yellow and red zones on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Dying to a PKer in a red zone will respawn you back at town and you will lose everything. In black zones, everyone is in danger, as it is basically the wilderness in RuneScape. You may be attacked by anyone. Lots of players go here to mess people up and get their full loot drops. However, black zones are worth the risk as they do have better resource drops whether you are fishing or doing a dungeon. This is a free to play game and I hope you guys give it a go. It's worth a try and I'll see you guys next time. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between